opportunity. Yeah. It, the satisfaction is, is it's, it's, I can't put words to describe it. Um, this is what we work for, and, and to have it all come and, and materialize on this type of stage, and, and, and you know, in a historical type of way, first person to beat Miguel in New York. Yeah. I guess yeah. Yeah. Sorry. 14th round. Of, uh, the court, maybe you know, the word about the decision when you for the knockout, and you say be careful. Last round, I, I mean, well, I knew that I couldn't give up any rounds. There's a couple times at the end of the round I was giving up you know, shots. Where I thought they might have understood the round. Uh, I, I can't, like you said, I, I didn't necessarily get the 119. I thought there was, a, there was a closer fight than that, but I did feel like I won and should have taken the fight. Like you want to go for a knockout? I did. I wanted to go for a knockout. I felt like to seal the deal. I had a Austin, describe the feeling of how it feels to throw Miguel Cotto in the garden. In your words, I, I tell you, I'm not feeling anything right now. You can pitch for your right now. Um, I'm on, I'm on a cloud right now. When I come down, then it might not hit me at once. And they're like, oh my god, that's being Were there any jitters when you stepped into that crowd in the garden and you saw all the chanting fans from Miguel Cotto? Did it phase you? At not, not at all. You know, it was, it was business as usual. I felt, I feel nervous going to any fight, whether they cheering for me or they jeering for me. And uh, I think that's just all part of being a human. And as far as the crowd giving me any problems, I didn't feel them at all. I knew when he hit me and they go crazy, I just shake my head just to let them know, like, no, it wasn't that great. Now that you've gotten this over and done, okay, do you feel that this is going to catapult you as a fighter, mentally and physically, to a different level? I hope so. That's what we did it for. You know, we wanted this type of fight, so we would catapult for you today. That's definitely. You know, I've known what I could do, and I proved it, but to, to show everybody and now, to have that, hopefully, they give me the respect I deserve as a team. And mentally, that, that makes me even stronger than I was before. I was a strong, I have a strong mind from the get-go. Austin, Tony Malinaji told me that to fight Miguel Cotto at the Madison Square Garden is like fighting the devil in hell. <laughs> what was it like for you to do you know, I've been to hell a few times, and I've defeated the devil a couple of times in, in hell, so it was like being home. I'm about to see what it feels like when they're going for me. And tonight your career changed. The whole world got to see you. You beat a Hall of Famer. What, what's next for you? Next is to beat the people that are, are you know, other champions, people that claim to be the best, that other people are claiming to be the best. You know, that's my next step. You know, I only want to be the best, so I got to take the steps that can make me the best. Austin, 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 you, you, Austin you, do you break down please what the Canelo fight looks like? Yeah. You know, it's something similar to this. It's just, uh, you know, he's, he's a little, excuse me, younger, so it's, I think it'd be a, a good fight. I think uh, I, I, he gets hit a lot easier than Cotto. You know, Austin, Richard, you, Richard sat up here and, and said that the, the potential for Cotto and Canelo to fight still exists. Would you be disappointed if that happens? I wouldn't be surprised. Austin, a historic victory for your state. It's the same venue where Bob Foster first won a title for the state of New Mexico against Nick Tiger. You become, you know, New Mexico keeps its record for you know. And what's it like? I tell you, it's no coincidence that I'm the fourth world champion from New Mexico and also the fourth person to win in the Madison Square Garden to make it 4-0. I don't think it's a coincidence at all. Austin, you, you mentioned you want to win all the titles. You have the WBA title at 154, but Floyd Mayweather still has the WBA super title at 154. Have you received any indication from the sanctioning body that if you continue to win, they will force the mandatory that they're supposed to by rule? I haven't had any indication, but you know, until that time comes and they tell me that I can get that fight, I'm going for the rest of the belts. You talked about the crowd. You said you wanted to sign with the crowd. You know, you don't focus on the crowd, but did you feel like there was a point you had never really let them get into it, or was it kind of intermittent? I know it was pretty quiet in the garden. It was more quiet, you know, leaving than it was coming in. And actually, I got a few cheers in myself, so I was happy with that. Are you pumped for coming now? I hope so. We have to see what Ring Magazine says. <laughs>